Hi, Pisces. All right. I'm going to do you guys a reading. This reading is uh, timeless. So it's just about what's going on with you now. Like any advice, understanding, anything you need at this very moment. First, I'm going to do general. Then I'm going to do love. With the love part, um, if you want to skip the general, then I'm going to put a time stamp down bottom. Okay. Let's see. What messages do we have? flowers be generous uh success and emotional fulfillment is yours this card is about abundance spending time in nature what do you have under here wow a proposal some of you guys may have a, a relationship coming in that's going to be emotionally fulfilling for you and also if you talk in, a, in the sense of business like say you're watching this for business this will be a good omen too. Like success is yours. And this is talking about having enough to where you can share. Also spending time in nature. Um, as far as in a business sense, this is one of the most pos positive um, cards in the deck when it comes to proposals. People want to take things to the next level. So that's in the cards for you guys. Someone wanting to take something to the next level, even in business. You like say you have a, a property on the market or something like that. Then this would be saying that things are going to turn out good. Okay, you may get um, you may get a proposal for things that want to sell or any type of business or love proposal. Let's see what this is. Let's go in and a little deeper. Oh, wrong cards. Moving too far ahead. Pisces divine. Confirmation. Chills. Forbidden, the snake. Hmm. And hospitality. Visions. At the bottom. I feel like um, this is saying like even though you own the the verge of like having abundance, things that work out great in your life, you will start to receive like little confirmations of some some stuff that's probably not good for you as far as in moving from this part of your journey on. And it's all to it's like for the betterment of you. I feel like that's what this is saying. Let's get some more cards, and then we're gonna look into like this forbid and get a card for that. Pisces, divine. Okay. Overall energy, we have the Four of Wands. Let's look into this. Five of Cups. Ten of Cups. Four of Swords, Four of Pentacles, and the Hangman. Page of Swords clarifying the Five of Cups. Ten of Cups being clarified by the Seven of Swords. Strength. With the Four of Swords, Three of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles, hmm. and then the Seven of Pentacles with the Hangman. Wow. Now your official overall energy is the Two of Wands. Give me a minute, Pisces. Okay. 
Pisces, um, I do see this flower here and it's talking about being generous, success and emotional fulfillment is yours. And you do have like a proposal, a partnership coming in. But I feel like this uh, whole spread is saying, Pisces, this is like something like there was a relationship you had in the past. And it's like you found out some type of information that really kind of disappointed you. And I feel like this is someone you felt like um, you and this person can have the Ten of Cups. That's what you felt like. But it didn't turn out to be. Right now, you've been in a period of rest. And it's like you've been waiting for this to probably go to the next level with proposal. But nothing has worked out so far. Like it hasn't grown. Like someone hasn't really put in the effort. Okay. And it's like, even though you hold on to this idea that this may work, I feel like confirmation for forbidden and hospitality. I feel like this is saying that it may be time for you Pisces to consider another direction. And, and it, because I feel like this is saying a part of this with the queen of swords, a part of this is you not getting exactly what it is you deserve out of either this relationship or this could be a business partnership, but I'm not taking it that way. I'm taking this as a relationship. And it's like, can this be abundant? Can this be, is this what you really want? Like, have the, you been waiting for this person for quite some time and this person hasn't put in the effort or no energy towards the connection that you guys had? It's like, even though you've been in a period of learning, I have two fours becoming stable within your own energy, building yourself up. I feel like this is saying that this person has put, hasn't put in the effort. And it's time for you to maybe come out of a sense of, of what fail like these relationships that that are not going nowhere and kind of look at the opportunities that you can kind of get moving forward because you do have another relationship or some, something else coming in the cards i don't know if this is the same person but i'm getting underneath here i have the key this is a card that speaks of kind of a new a new beginning is happening another direction is coming your way but you have to let go of the past and i feel like and then underneath there is the fool card so what i'm getting from this whole message pisces is this saying are you getting exactly what you deserve in this relationship or or is it just like you've been waiting and holding on you have a lot of cards a stagnant energy right here 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 waiting for something and then having to have the strength to kind of hold on to a particular situation that's that's um and i don't want to be mean rude with it but that's going nowhere at this point it then has hospitality is like is this what's right for you is are you being treated in the way you should deserve and that should be like considered as you continue if you choose to do so but we ending on the hangman and the seven of pentacles so if you choose to hang on to this situation is it what you truly deserve at this point in time and maybe it's time to consider that or is that a confirmation that maybe this relationship is going nowhere or something about this? Or is this the divine saying, hey, well, maybe this is forbidden. Maybe this is what's not good for you. What is forbidden, divine? Let's clarify forbidden. And this is, doesn't have to be long term, but I feel like you've been like literally waiting and looking at all the stuff the efforts you put into something and really kind of like trying to you trying to understand this whole picture clearly with here but it's like something about it you not quite i feel like you don't still don't have answers because it's still you still in a hangman mode forbidden divine for pisces four of wands and the six of pentacles. With the emperor at the bottom in the world. I feel like this is saying like, because I, I, I know you want something that's abundant of being emotionally fulfilled. We see that here with these main two cards. And this is saying that this can come to you, Pisces. But it's saying um, it's kind of not a, a good 
idea to kind of build something solid with someone who's not offering much. And I feel like that's what this is saying. Maybe this person only um, gives as, uh, so much to kind of keep control of a certain relationship. And this is saying that this is a, um, something that needs to close out so you can kind of push forward. Because I do get this thing with it being the snake. I just can't help but to get this um, feeling like someone's doing this just to kind of hold on or keep a certain situation. But it's this form of kind of wanting that stability. Others relate, like not wanting to rock that foundation that's barely there anyway. Because only someone is like in a place where they're only given a little bit and it's like something that they won't really miss with the six of pentacles like it's not okay i'll put in a little bit but i'm not going to give all of me and let's keep in mind this is the emperor so this is a person that has a lot to give and the ability to to kind of go and and create this wonderful life for himself so it's like and this no it doesn't have to be a man and these are the women it's just saying that this is what the emperor does he builds foundations he builds empires he knows how to love somebody properly but you can't like it's like where is the why is the six of pentacles here it's like someone who has so much to give can have a, a, like can give that marriage can give so much to you but they're not doing so and that's confirmation of how this person is truly viewing this okay pisces let's get some um let's get you another card i expected this is to um, be a little different but i feel like this is more based on love also, Pisces, kind of consider what the, like, with the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Cups, um, can this truly make you happy? Because there may be an underlying sense of there, there being an illusion there. Will you be willing to, like, go down that road? It will it make you as happy as you think it will? Let's get you one more. Let's get you one of these cards and then we'll look into love about this situation. Don't be afraid to sing. Uh, don't be afraid to sing. And this is spaceships. This is about um, this card is a seven uh, a 43, which is a seven. And it's about being able to, to like you have powerful words. You have a powerful voice and not being able. Uh, don't kind of hold back for anybody. If people are trying to make it seem like what you're saying is not true which can be this who this emperor is or just other people in your circle this is saying the things that you say you have uh, the voice to move mountains and a lot of the things that you're saying are true so don't allow another person to dismiss that and you also have under here the sun paint the sun back into your sky and this is talking about finding other joy outside of uh loved ones but this is not saying that oh you can't have love i'm not trying to present it as in oh love can't make you happy but this is saying like um don't hold people accountable for your happiness so to speak type of card okay let's get you um love a love reading which may kind of go deeper into this but then maybe it'll be something completely different let's see what's going on Right. Messages for Pisces and love. All right, so in love we have only you, fixated, attached, hypnotized. Heart fog, mixed emotions, block emotions, cluttered. And then we have conflicted, multiple choices, inconsistency, decisions, silence, stillness, no words. All right, Pisces. Sorry, I don't even have it down uh, good enough for you guys to see. All right. I feel like it goes back. It's it's kind of coming off from the first message. This person could possibly be holding back just because that card is sitting right there. But I'm going to put it over here so it won't 
be into this reading, okay? But someone, like this person does have feelings for you. I see that here with only you. But it's like this, either he, this person has blocked emotions, send mixed signals. And I'm getting this because maybe there's other people or like something like with mixed signals and inconsistency. I feel like this person go back and forth with it. And that's why they kind of, um, things are kind of frozen like that. This person is definitely affected by the situation. Okay. And I feel like you are too, mainly you. But it's still something here where some emotions are blocked. And then we did see that seven of swords. So this could be um, possibly. Only you divine. Says um, only you runner in a codependent relationship. Fear of intimacy. Listening to ego. Hard fall, divine. Unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Karmic relationship, fleeting, triggering, turmoil, resentment, blessings, letting go and loving you. Engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. Twin flame is underneath the deck. Conflict, conflicted divine. What is it? Why is conflicted here? Clarity, truth, revelation, so solidarity. Um, force, honor, protective, protection, and power. And then you have stop the pattern, breakup, separation, silent treatment, abandonment. Competition, other woman. So this person is in another relationship. It's like even though you guys have emotion, we did see the twin flame card there. But um, I still feel like there's a sense of you not fully being happy okay and i feel like this person probably either engaged or in a union with someone else okay and so this is like um maybe there's a like that's the truth it, maybe it's like maybe with multiple choice i'm gonna just be honest because i'm kind of doing it because a lot of people are so sensitive about trend twin flames journeys I'm in one, but I kind of look at them a little different than other uh, the others, okay? So with multiple choices, truth and clarity, stop the pattern. To me, this is saying not, not allow someone to treat you as an option. And that's what I'm, I'm, I'm totally getting there. Yes, these are loving connections. Yes, you guys are divinely guided or divinely connected. But this is at a point, it's like, when, like do you sacrifice your whole being, your whole self, for uh, the relationship or is it time to pick yourself up and go towards your happiness okay because yes it's like that sense of that closeness only you and running in a codependent relationship but it's also a sense of not knowing that not telling you that mixed signals like it's where and then it's, it's keeping you in a certain place that you have to evolve out of okay and there is other people involved here okay and it says the reaper this relationship is over so it's saying like this this chapter of this relationship is closed and it's time for you to kind of like move forward let me get you let's get some tarot Only you, Divine. Confused. That's the Seven of Cups, sorry. Four of Cups. Heart fault. Three of Swords. Seven of Rods and the Four of Swords. Conflicted. The nine of pentacles is the overall energy. 
the devil, eight of wands, and the high priest. Hmm. So this is a person who's uh, kind of like fixated on you. They do think of you like you are someone that they deeply love. But there's still are other options here. That's why this person is running, okay? And so it's other people here. And other people involved, other love interests, okay? And heart fog is mixed signals, blocked emotions, clutter. It's like even if this person does like have this unconditionally loving, at a, this point they're not in a place to kind of actually give that because they're in another relationship. So it's a sense of this person, I don't want to say that. They're in a place of engaging with somebody else in those type of manners. And I feel like this is saying like, yeah, your heart is broke about this situation, but it's, it's time to like create a boundary so you can heal with this. So it's like maybe you kind of keeping yourself open for this relationship because of you heard of possibly the twin twin flame dynamic. But there's still a sense here of there's lessons that you should learn about this whole situation, too. OK. And it's like time to kind of complete certain lessons within your life. And one of the biggest ones is not being an option and not um, creating boundaries for yourself in particular relationships. OK, and then you have multiple choices here with the clear truth and clarity, a breakup, separation, stop the pattern. Then we have uh, the devil, because no matter what type of connection it is, Pisces, it's still a sense of toxic. OK, so this is like. Yes, it could be like this dynamic and you may be hearing a lot about those type of journeys. I'm, I'm more one that kind of look at them a little different, but I'm not afraid to express that. And um, yeah, some people might not like it, but I'm not afraid to express that. It's trying to say that there are certain things that you should kind of detach from that may be toxic so you can move forward and be, have successful relationships. OK, commitments in your life. And that's what this is saying. OK, Pisces, let me get you. A card in regards to here about this and then we'll close the reading Pisces it says you don't need someone else to fix you so even if this is somebody telling you Oh, this card speaks of if, if there are people around you trying to fix you, saying you gone without repair, we need to do all this work. That doesn't A means you're not worthy of love. And for B, that it means that no tell them no thank you, because you're you perfectly fine without all of that. And so I, I get this sense of possibly people around you saying that there's so much work you have to do on yourself in order to kind of achieve a certain relationship and this is saying no that's not necessarily the truth and if you've been getting up like in with certain routines getting up waking up and getting dressed like the same routine every day it's saying the world is out there for you to explore and to kind of create a different type of lifestyle for yourself okay pisces that's the message i have for you <laughs> i hope it helps bye